So we've seen the women in the under 16, Jamison 1500 metres, and now it's the men's turn in the Hillard 1500 metres. A field of 14, Darren Dole, Jean Philippe Salou, Adam Goddard, Mitchell, Mitchell Langbourne, Jai Hadfield, Lachlan Attard, Ethan Grills, Luca De Conza, Connor Ogilvy, Josh Berry, Bailey Morell, Mac Anderson, Jack Armstrong, and Taz Davies completes the lineup. And, and much like we saw in that women's event, the field bunched together early. It's the old Scotch Collegian and Jean Philippe Sully that leads the way. And that's how they'll move through the first 300 metres as we head down to the infield. Nick Wall down at the pole vault. Thank you, Tom. The next on the runway, we have our Wyndham athlete, Joshua Hayes. 727 is his best so far. But Christopher Matreski, the Commonwealth Games Australian representative, leads currently with 772. While on the women's side of the competition, you've got Celeste Mucci at 591 and Audrey Kirikau, the 2014 World Junior Athlete at 606. So it's a hotly contest here at the long jump right now. And that was Hayes of Wyndham who just jumped down the long runway. Thanks, Nick. And we move back to the 1500 metres where it's Jean-Philippe Saloui in the red top of the old Scotch Collegians leads them through Goddard, the South Australian, working towards the front. Hip number three, the Box Hill athlete and Connor Ogilvy there as well. And the representation, the orange top, that's the Mornington Peninsula athlete and Taj Davies. So they move into the home straight for the second time, Tamsin. And it's still a settled pace, but athletes now starting to move a little bit. It's a really, really slow tempo, so it's interesting. They're going to have to do, um, to, to, to make, so, make sure that it's not rough, they're going to have to make some moves, and we've seen that happen right now. With Josh Berry making sure that, oh, and we've seen a fall. See, that's the danger when it is slow, and then the pace comes in. Um, keeping on your feet can be quite tricky sometimes, and you can get spat out the back, which is an unfortunate thing that happened. But you mentioned Goddard and Ogilvy. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they run this race because they had a fantastic ding dong battle up in Cairns on the weekend where they finished second and third, and it was really close. So it'll be interesting to see how the tables go. I think Ogilvy was second and Goddard was third. Well, it's Barry that's thrown a spanner in the works at the moment because he's put the hammer down and, and taken control of this race, has moved to the front, and now it's the challenge for his rivals to respond to him. Onto his shoulder is Ogilvy, has a little bit of work to do moving through his Goddard in the blue top. So that's Goddard, the South Australian, in the blue and the white, Ogilvy in the black and the silver, and at the front of the field, leading them into the home straight is Berry in the gold and blue of Deakin. And it's not a bad tactic when you know that you're not the fastest in the field and it's being a slow tempo and it is getting rough to make it a good race, to take it out and really push that, push that pace on. And, and I think Berry's done a great job there in the middle lap. We saw Darren Dole just stick his head out into the wind there and tried to make some ground and maybe is going to go with that lead group. We see seven athletes moving away now at the front of the field. It's Goddard, you mentioned him before, yep. in the blue and the white, and he's put the foot down Ogilvy to chase now, Tamsin. Yeah, and DeConza and um, Anderson are looking really good as well. Anderson ran a race in Melbourne recently and, and won in a 4.10, so he's in shape and ready to go. And he's the young, the, the tiny little Melbourne uni boy, uh, Melbourne, is Mel, Mel, OMAC, yeah, athlete. So it's the old Melbournians there in the going to kind of slowly moving through in the red for old Scotch collegians, but it's got out in the blue and the white. Ogilvy in the black and the grey, and that's the battle as they move round the bend. 150 metres left to go. Sulu in the red, trying to move up for his club in the red top of old Scotch collegians, but Goddard into the straight. They went head to head in Cairns. Ogilvy now to the outside, puts the foot down. Goddard trying to respond. Sully facing the challenge now for third place, but it's Goddard on the inside. Ogilvy's thrown everything at him, but Goddard had the answer when it mattered. And 4.09.08 for Goddard, and he's won the battle in Melbourne. They went head-to-head -head in Cairns, Tamsin, and Goddard, Ogilvy. It was a battle that you looked for, and it's the opposite to how you... We saw them just a couple of well, a week or so ago. Yeah, and, and that's brilliant, isn't it? Seeing them race again, um, it shows that they're getting used to those battles. They're getting race hardened, and that's the perfect thing. It's the perfect way to train as a junior. You don't need to go out there and do all the Ks, but coming out there and racing like that was brilliant. And I'm so sorry, Mac Anderson, when you look back and I called you tiny. You're just a lot littler than the other guys out there. But you ran fantastic, and it was a gutsy last 100 by you. So, so gutsy. And we just see the replay there. And in third place, coming from nowhere, Taj Davies. He was way back, wasn't even in the calculations about halfway up the straight. It was Salui, and we have a look back now. Just watch for the orange top. It barely in frame at the moment. We're watching Goddard and Ogilvy at the front but when they come through watch him now those last 20 meters and he closed 